And I'm here today with my dear friend and colleague, Nishani Vincent. Nishani, you want to take a moment to introduce yourself? Yes, thank you, Amy. I'm Nishani Vincent. I'm an associate professor at the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. I uh, worked in consulting and I helped a lot of businesses design and, and implement information systems. I met Amy about 10 years ago at an academic conference. It's been and, a while, hasn't it? I think it's even been more friends. than that. But <laughs> so, but. Yeah, we've been great friends since in the academic. Unfortunately, we only get to see each other in real life a couple times a year. But so we actually worked on a big project together. And here it is. We wrote together a book called Emerging Technologies for the Business Professional, a non-technical guide for the governance and management of disruptive technologies. We're academics, so we did have to have a long title. So this started gosh, five, six years ago, maybe we were at a conference. I know we were sitting at break, having a, a coffee or a beverage. And we're like, gosh, I wish I had a primer about all these new technologies coming out that was written for business people, not for the technical people. There are tons of resources for the technical people, but what can we use to, that is written for everybody else? Uh, that just kind of describes what the technology is and gives some pointers for if you want to use it for business. So, Nishani, you want to tell how we started writing this book or how it came to be from there? Sure. So, since both Amy and I, we are in accounting, we are accounting professors, we started thinking about the changes that's coming up in the curriculum and collecting material to uh, provide our students, our accounting students. And uh, we thought about um, the technologies that the profession is in, uh, interested in, the, the buzzwords that's been uh, floating around, and started collecting material um, to use in our own classrooms. That's how we started this project. Right. And we actually started writing it with no intention of ever submitting a book proposal or trying to get a publisher. But after we did a good amount of work, we decided, hey, let's just put together a proposal and see what happens, thinking, ah, this may take a while. We'll just still use things for our classes. So we actually did put together a proposal and submitted it through a website. And by luck, we got a direct contact who, um, you know, so he would actually look at it. Within a few days after we submitted, submitted the proposal to him, we actually met with him. And just a couple weeks later, we signed a contract. And then we went, oh boy, this is real. So Nishani, <laughs> what did we do from there? <laughs> so our biggest challenge at the beginning was trying to decide what technologies should we talk about? Because there are so many emerging technologies mm -hmm. and that was our biggest challenge. So we thought about what is important to businesses, what are they investing in um, so um, to decide on the chapters. And then we started writing and we realized that there is a lot of material out there. So we had to break those chapters into several uh, chapters, even one technology into several chapters to cover every aspect of that technology. Mm -hmm. uh, another challenge during writing was, you know, keeping it non-technical because that's exactly what we wanted. We wanted the business person, a layman, to read the textbook and understand the technology. Um, once we got through all of those hurdles. We um, sent the manuscript to the publisher. We went through the editorial process, responded to the proofs and the comments that they had. And the book was finally released in September of this year. And Amy, hey. you wanna tell, us, tell them about where to find the book? Well, yeah, I was actually gonna take a moment and say just of what technologies were in the book, uh, mm -hmm. just so you know, so analytics, of course, we can't have emerging technologies without talking about artificial intelligence. We have cryptocurrency and blockchain, the metaverse and non-fungible tokens, which are kind of making a, you know, an appearance. 
robotic process automation, quantum and edge computing, augmented reality, and we also discuss cybersecurity and a little bit of ethics. So if you are interested in this, you can get your own copy. Uh, look below in the description, you will have a discount code for if you wanna get this through Wiley, our publisher. Otherwise, the book is available at Amazon, Barnes and Noble, and several other online retailers. I will have links below in the description. So thanks for joining me, Nishani. I think we're going to probably have you back. We'll talk about some of these chapters later. So um, thank you all for listening, and I hope you found this informational.